Well, it's um, March 2nd today, and it's minus 10 Celsius this morning. Still winter around here. Getting anxious here to get my car out on the road. Thought I'd just share a little blog this morning about what we're doing here, just uh, to uh, share with other vintage Mopar enthusiasts. This is my 53 Windsor Deluxe in my garage. And, um, I don't know. What have I been doing this winter? I uh, I pulled out the AM radio, the tube radio, and I uh, I rebuilt it. I replaced all the capacitors inside of there, and I uh, uh, put in all new tubes, and it works again. It sounds awesome, so I'm excited for that. I'm working a little bit on the uh, in the in on um, the heater system as well. Um, I pulled out the entire heater core. And water control valve and um, took my heater core to a rad shop and had them flush it out clean it and get all the scale out of it so that's been a fun project I'm just about ready to uh, finish up the job I'll maybe just share with what I did um, this the heater core is here to see water cool and goes into the heater core and comes out top circulates through a heater core and this is one of your fans there's two blower fans here in this 53 pull all that out access to the heater core I had to remove the little controls for the there's a vent up here I haven't fully assembled it yet this is your fresh air control vent took that apart pull the air filter off here's my carburetor I put a piece of tape over it just to make sure no debris didn't fall down in there and test my water control valve and it's the good news is it works but not fully it's stuck open which is better than being stuck closed I guess so the coolant goes from the front of the water pump back to the heater control valve, which is down in that area. And um, I actually discon disconnected the heater control valve. It's right in this area here. There's the intake or inlet and outlet there for the coolant from the engine supposed to go in there. And then you control that valve by opening and closing it with a little uh, the heater temperature control inside the uh, cab. And um, it's stuck open, and I want to be able to shut off the heat in the summer. So I end up using, there's a little tap right there. That's going to be a tap on the back of the block. They all had them there on the back of the head. I think they did. There's definitely a port there, a pipe plug for it. So I'm going to shut off the water control there in the summer when I don't need any heat. And that, that'll keep the heat out of the, uh, the heater and into the cab area. When I'm driving in the fall and the spring, when it's cool out, I can just control my temperature by either opening this vent here, letting fresh cold air come into the car, and I can also turn off and on my blower motors, so it'll slow down any crazy heat coming out of the heater there, too, so if it's too warm in the cab. So I've been doing that in the last uh, few weeks. Yeah, I cleaned all that up, the housing, and I repainted it, so it's going to look a little better. I gotta clean up the firewall and the dust that came in there. I'm pretty sure that was the first time that's been a part since 1953. It was um, a lot of a lot of junk and old stuff down in there like leaves and, and, and things like that. And sticks and dead bugs and things that get down in there I guess. So I took care of that. I had to drain the radiator to do that because this is the highest point of the cooling system here. In order for me to take the heater core on that out, I drain the radiator. And then when I took it apart, no coolant came out. So I was able to take all that apart and put it back together. I'm just about ready to put the coolant back in and fire it up. I got another hose to hook up there. Go into the, I'm going to go right from the front of the water pump down here, straight into the heater up here. Try that. And then it goes through the heater core, comes out, and goes down to the back of the block there. It circulates through. And, um, gee, you know, it just can't warm up quick enough this spring anxious to get back out on the road and get the girl back uh, back out cruising so that's about all I'm doing today and we'll, uh, have a good one